is it working? Okay, hi guys! Welcome back to some more Disco Elysium over here. We are continuing right after the previous episode. Uh, it's a different stream, just because the internet dropped in the first one, but not much has happened otherwise. We learned a little bit more about the um, strike over here, and also a little bit more about Kim. Nope. Uh, what do we have here? More magnesium, that's good. Would be useful to have extra bars over here, just like we have for health. I guess that's Welcome not an option yet. The mark isn't addressed to you, it's addressed to the lieutenant. Um, why are you addressing my Don't partner like that? Welcome to Revachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Damn. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city. But I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. You tell it's them. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Mm. So just your casual racist. What he means is, fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self-determination. Yep. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly mm. what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here. That I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The Oof. air between them. Hello. Intense. Welcome back, Kovac. Um, seem like, seems like the chat, uh, your chat got fixed. And actually, I forgot to, um, repaste the new one. There you go. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Oh. Uh, okay, Kim, I've got your back. You do make a cute couple. You know that? The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Now oh, that's it. Whatever you say, officers. Chat on phone, but not on desktop. I mean, laptop. He it's smells a very bizarre bars, one. And his breath of high tar content cigarettes. Probably Astro, Astro White. I would say IP ban, but um, if you are on Wi Fi, that would be the same IP. Um, are you and it is the same account so so it's not that account ban nor IP ban very weird what was that argument all about uh, it's about biological determinism natural law the sorting of the races I want to punch this guy not the most popular topic nowadays with a coalition in charge you know you might want to change the topic that is, bury your head under the sand like, come on, sheep. Oh, so you're just a racist. I'm not just racist. Look, I've read books. Huh? The science of racial theory has this. all been proved, even if uh, some people don't want to accept it. Ah, a uh, 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 well-read racist. People who studied these things said that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally... We mm. Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Yes, I can really tell you're a prime example of superior Open design. your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? An unfortunate downturn, maybe? Huh? When members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority, they stop competing for resources. And this concerns you, policemen, so you better be vigilant. The damn kits are showing up good lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other intruder species too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. Cultural victory? What is this then? What is it's this? what the kips of Boogie Street are going for, right under our noses. And the others too, on the radio. Heard any chanson? 
lately? Heard any Mutitus or leader? No. Dominating culture is how they plan to win. This is through themselves. Uh -huh. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their birth place? You might end up with a new sub-race, with unknown characteristics leading to extra competition. That's why you've got to control the offspring. Yeah, why don't you go don't fuck yourself? Don't push your luck, Runt. Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? Yeah, what are you hauling? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your eyes situation. How long has this been a going? Strike? I'd have been at it for a while. A month, or two months maybe. But this here is just the last week or so. What kind of cargo are supposed Apples is exactly the kind of thing you'd say if you had something to hide. Apples. Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to... Apples. Apples. It's... Look, as detective, I come from a long line of lorry men. We got ancient rights and privileges. Oh, I'm here to pick up a load of fucking apples, man. Just regular, Koiko picked apples. Koiko. Koiko may be another derogative for a person from Grad, we think. So they grow apples in Grad. Yep, it's one of their main exports. They grow them down South Yekokata, a beautiful place. Got great scenic vistas. In fact, Yekokata is a desolate wasteland whose name literally translates to Zone of Ecological Catastrophe. It features no scenic vistas and supports virtually no plant or animal life. It's not in the south and they definitely don't grow yeah. apple there. Says who? It's in the name. Then, I guess they grow apples somewhere else. You can never really tell with those koikos. They are everywhere, except their own homes. What does that actually mean? He means mean? the people living in Grad. Yeah, you know, Gradniks, Gradvolk, those degenerates from Grad. So, why the word Koiko? That's what they're all called. Koiko Pichik, uh, Loslav Koiko, uh, Koikovich, someone. <laughs> Low self esteem, those guys have. Mind you, they look occidental, but they are not uh, really like us. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, if the name and description fit by the very grace of nature, who am I to say otherwise? Can I see the apples? Uh, did you miss the part where I said they aren't here yet? Besides, even if I did have some, I wouldn't go putting my nose in them, huh? Relax. Mm. You've got all you can get here. He probably doesn't even know what he's hauling, even if it is something unsavory. So, so it remain remain unaccount unaccountable. Makes sense. You said something about rights and oh, yeah, privileges of lorry men. My great-grandfather was a carter. Had a royal license and everything. We've tried to hold on to our privileges. <laughs> Someone with a cart. What did you think it was? That's how deep into history our thing reaches. Before machines. What's sure that fucking is. Privilege? We have a guild and everything. Huh? Very ancient. Very prestigious. So it's kind of a union. Hell no. It's a guild. Invitation only. Unions work for the rich fucks. They're basically the same. Been trying to fuck us out of our heritage in the name of profit. But you can't replace experience. <laughs> Trusting street thugs with their goods is going to fuck him right up the ass. Mark my words. Generations of practice and no laughing matter. Right. Can't say I'm really a big fan of this guy, but... We got what we could out of him. Oh, we went, uh, we walked around. It seems. Nice. We actually, I did actually want to go back Hello, down here. Officer, how are things? Well, uh, this might be the last snow we get. At least I hope so. Snow has nutrients in it. Helps everything green up in the spring. At least that's what my grandma always told me. Yes, think about the cute grandma. Not the weird snow. Hmm. 
Stop looking at her. Look around. What do you see? The plaza? That's right. And the canal. The bookstore. The harbour gates. This is a great vantage point for keeping an eye on you. Are by any chance keeping an eye on us? No, of course not. I don't understand what this is about. The mm. kid did this, right? The red-haired rat? Can't say a sentence without <sighs> or kipped? Oof. He's always giving me trouble. I was Maybe you to shouldn't him. be. I mean, you do your job, but that kid is beyond help. And he certainly won't help you. You've been resting here for quite a while, haven't you? Yes, I'm tired. I understand. The RCM isn't welcome here, and the locals want to keep an eye on us. There's silence. The <laughs> smallest of smiles. That's okay, miss. Do what you have to do. I think we're done here. Let's go. Alright. Well. That's good info, I guess. Did we miss this garbage can? Could pick them up if you had a bag. Hmm. Oh, there's more stuff over here. Pistol and a half-naked dame on its cover. Very muscular man surrounded by flames. Man from Hijnea and the wildfire. It's a bookstore. Book about pate. Or does it seem important? Freedom... Okay... Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Hmm, hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Uh, what kind of store it's is this anyway? It's a bookstore, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. And it's called some crime, board games. romance, and biographies of famous people. Cool. Books? Postcards? Easy. Even a kid would know all of this. Feels inappropriate to let you Don't be a fool. As an expert, it's your duty to tell what you know. To Don't tell me Sir, what to do. Are you okay? You've been <laughs> standing here silently for a while now. It's okay if you okay, ask us some questions. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. Uh... My name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside, minding the register, or organising the stock. Hmm. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. They're standing out here in the cold because... I'm signalling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. Such a good... I could help by brutally dismantling the free market. Damn. Thank Good you, trooper. Sir. I'm happy to help mom out with the store. Should it be a school or I something? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mom keep this place running. Is going to school more important than this? Mom says it's this? necessary to do both because it builds character. Mom says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. There is stress mm. and unease behind these words. She's reciting etiquette. Mom says the business it's going? peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Cursed? Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Bankrupt. Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. I don't think it curses are be, real. But they seem real. Anyhow, they say that these grounds are doomed for businesses. Very unsettling of things, child. It doesn't work out for most people. Of course, sir. Um... What is this crime, crime fiction? Crime is about being... murders or burglaries or things like that. Hmm. And the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch the criminals. Not crime fiction. I need to know what crime is. Uh... Crime hmm. is what we were solving before this conversation began. <laughs> Why would anyone want to it's read about crime? To people, I guess. They get to imagine dangerous things. And it's kind of like a puzzle, where you can guess who the criminal is, or how the good guys are going to catch him. Policeman by himself, don't look by the much way. like a policeman. Really? Well, what does a cop look Didn't like, then? Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. 
It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. Hmm. It's not your book, that's important police work. It's your head, yeah. Head? No, your mind. Not head. Right. Child. Heads. Heads. Uh... Flexibility. Isn't that very dangerous? Hmm. Live and breathe danger. See, like Unlike you, sir. Shamalong he's just skill. a fictional character. He's no match for you. Maybe you can show me some real police work, sir. Like in the books. Okay, let's... um. Hold on. I don't want to fail that fucking skill check. Hello again, sir. The girl keeps her hands folded, hidden. Why is that? Why do you keep what your do hands you mean, fast, sir? You don't need to be she worried. She looks around anxiously. Her hands remain folded in front of her. She doesn't want to show them. The mm. lieutenant stands by, looking at the two of you with little interest. Okay. She brings out her reddened hands, her nails frayed, nearly chewed down to the flesh. You bite your nails. You this from me keeping my hands folded. There are a few other hints. Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. Hmm. Well, we can challenge her to do something about us. You're quite sober. The lieutenant does not flinch at the comment. He does not flinch even a single bit. <laughs> he is intensely not flinching. It takes effort. How do you know I'm usually not? Because you usually aren't. I'm having I a sure hope time. you are, sir. There she stands, swaying on her feet, hmm. assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar. Somehow, there's something you're missing. Hmm. Does it feel familiar? I guess we it's maybe talked before. It's a book where there's a rich lady, and she has to choose between the good man and the bad man. Or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about man and lady business, sir. Hmm. What about a poor man getting a rich lady? It happens, but usually the guy gets rich in the process. Or should actually be rich himself, but has lost his family property unjustly, like during the revolution or something. Those are unhappy books for most of the pages. People sad about what they have lost, but then it all turns out just fine in the end. What about when both men are bad? These are not very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like that. But if it's written well, really well? Maybe then it's fine. Maybe if the lady then decides not to pick either, because she doesn't need a bad man. Yes, that would be interesting. What about when everyone is That's poor? really not a proper romance story. That's more like everyday life. Sometimes you have to write about real life things. Not in romance books, sir. These are about nice and pretty people, and everyone is happy in the end. But it's not realistic. It's about people a book where man and lady business don't work out I at all. I haven't read many of those. Maybe you should ask Mum. Maybe I will. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she can help out. Anything else you're curious about? Maybe some about other books? Oh, kings and queens and generals of old, or artists and writers, or musicians, those kinds of people. There's usually something extraordinary about them. Hmm. I think that's why people read them, to find the secrets of their fame. Seems like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. Ah, uh, reading them doesn't make the readers more famous, does it? But it does make the famous people more famous. Um, for vain people. Okay, sir. She didn't like that one. 
I guess we can try the suggestion. I'm not gonna keep attempting Hi, it, but Detective. maybe it works. Are you here for more books? You have absolutely no idea. Familiar? Alright, we'll see. Maybe if we um get a little bit better. We'll give it another go. Coin operated viewer has been banged up, it's inoperable. What are you guys doing here? Life doesn't need to be a struggle. Hmm. I'll be with you in a moment, officer. Let me just finish my sandwich. Talk to Angry Hog René first. <laughs> okay. I will. Tire tracks lead onto the roof. Hmm. Have you no shame? Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Honey, <laughs> you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. Fork Please. in a world of Let's soup. Just try to <laughs> <enjoy the> game, <laughs> right? That's a that's a nice I'm insult. Trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. Concentration. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. <laughs> These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. Shouldn't I ask Shoot what first. game it is first? Uh, no. You got this. There's the ball. You're the game. Get him. Ho! You are immediately surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter. You'll make it work. The cold metal ball is surprisingly smooth against your neck. It has a pattern on it. Probably a sponsored ball. A sponsored ball. Yours would only be covered with bumps of learning and scars of victory. Already, your muscles are adjusting to the weight. The nervous system calibrating. Until you and the ball have merged into a single entity. A chilly breeze ruffles your hair as you stand there, feet firmly planted. All sounds, smells, even the wind. Everything fades until the only thing left is the union of man and ball. Seems serious. An embodiment of pure motion. A fine-tuned locomotor running at maximum efficiency. What? Well, it's like the um, heavy ball throw. Meld! Bordel de meld! A whorehouse of shit. Hmm. It wasn't whorehouse of shit. The shot was at least 23 meters. Probably 24, and then some. Nothing to be embarrassed about. What the hell is your problem? <laughs> not a weak right tricep, that's for I sure. I don't care if you are a cop. You do not just ruin someone's game. It's so goddamn disrespectful. Sensing anger, I don't understand and why. No game, son. We can't play petonk with five bull. Petonk? Yes, petonk. You ruined our petonk game. We want our bull back. Take it easy, Rene. This is just a misunderstanding, isn't it, officer? No harm done. Ah, uh, we should have asked. Of course there's harm done, you oil slug. You are as a goddamn bull. Good. Fine. Mistakes are forgiven. But men at least try to right their wrongs. I believe you will try. Now, why did you approach us? Yes. Why did you come here? It's unlikely they know anything about the murder. He never Can ask. He might know something. This is a good vantage point. I found your guard, Ruth. Yes. The Debardeur's union pays me to stand build you during the night. Not out of any political allegiance, mind you. I'm an old man. Don't sleep more than a few hours every night anyway, and... Money is tight. Seen something on the night of the murder. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I wasn't working that night. Been on a two-week leave since last Monday. 
So, who was working on your no shift? One. The bus has been unmanned since last Monday. There's no other guard. It's just me. No one has been guarding the container yard since last Monday. Yes. It's... It's not actually an issue. I mean... Look, officer. The container yard doesn't actually need a guardsman. Mm. Never had one before, Rene. Monsieur Claire had that booth built specially for him. It's mostly decorative. The possibility of someone being in there is enough to discourage any ill-minded individuals. Mm. Evrard created this job for René because he knows the royal crab in his pension of honor and PTSD. If it's something <laughs> PTSD. American for a decorated kingsman collecting tear reflects bad on the whole neighborhood. His words. Hmm. Invest his profit, get a few more guys, expand and repeat. Wage work is dead. It's but one man. We need a program. Look, officer. Can we conclude the topic of my girl boost now? So a picture in there. She is nobody. This is none of your concern. I refuse to discuss my private affairs with the RCM. Who oh, is Jeanne-Marie Beaulieu? And she sure as hell wasn't a nobody. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Uh, like I said, it would be up anyway. So you might as well keep an eye out. It keeps my senses sharp. You know anything about the hangman? Unfortunately, I don't. And like most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. But this affair has passed me by completely. Mm, most of the locals. The union is the law. So can you really blame them? You don't have a problem with cops? cops? It's a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. He doesn't know about the crime. Your time is better spent discussing politics. Uh, I am uh, confident they are indispensable in regard to all the paperwork and other administrative duties. Oh! And the med fed it happy. No duties are similar to carry out. But you must out. agree that nature, in her infinite wisdom, has made men more fit to perform certain more challenging tasks. Don't you, officer? Um, overall, but women can train to get pretty close. That, uh, at least, you know, compared to the average dude on the street, a police woman can definitely be way better trained to take her out. Really, officer? <laughs> Match an average woman against an average man in a dark alley and see who comes out on top. Gender equality is a very noble, very modern idea. But in real life, primal roles prevail. But I do not wish to discuss this matter further. Seem to be playing in yes. generator. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. I do. Fire from heavy artillery. Mm -hmm. Why what? Oh, well, heavy artillery is. That's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership. And turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Did you use artillery fire again? Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Mm. Should have fought dirty, like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda. And mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't so, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. I shall them here in Martinez. Because this place is a damn beachhead. Had to soften the commies up first. Yes, the military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachel. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. Mm. This here is blood ground, where Coalition Boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. 
Most likely, we're playing petanque on their mangled corpses. Blood ground. You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Demolition. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, officer. I hate those foreign dogs, but uh, the enemy of my enemy and all that. They're the lesser evil. Is that why everything is so bad out? Damn right, son. They laid the fire of hell on the city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well, it's your own damn fault. You, we, the Coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Hmm. Of course they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players of the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... Uh, what do you think? Thinking men have opinions on these things. Mm. Uh, so it should be socially paving the way for the hard working class. Cleaned up our mess and now they rule us. I'm sorry if had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas. Boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachon. Or even if that damn clan Fussel had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. Instead, all that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. <laughs> Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. This is just what the commies wanted. This was their plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. Hmm. That's the Philip the Third factory. It this. doesn't. That was 100 years ago. It got nothing to do with anything. Who was this Damn Fricel. He was the king we couldn't protect. The Carabineers failed him. And the crown. He died in the hands of the Hyperle, in a very public execution. He slouches as he says that. It makes him smaller, admitting they left the king to the mob. Mm. A true king in both blood and mind, led Revachal before Frisell. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him into exile. Some manner of self-deceit is present in his thinking. Sounds like this Guillaume abandoned him, and he doesn't want to admit it. The suzerain is the king! Has everyone forgotten already? It's no use talking to you. You were still in daddy's balls when it happened. <laughs> when balls. we took our last stand against the fifth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. So the statue of Philip III. Ah, yes! King Philip III on his steed. A reminder of what Revachol once was. Oh, absolutely. At the mercy of a cocaine snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury so he could sleep on a bed of gold. Yeah, so what did I miss? Uh, a lot of politics, as this game a is. Power, feared and respected. A testament to what this country can be under the leadership of a true king. Someone who knows how to rule. How should a true king rule? Without fear of offending the sensibilities of the frail and weak minded among his subjects. This is something the insurgents never understood. She seems to me a leader should take care of his people before himself. And Nation is only as strong as its leader. That's why it was such madness to try to... Don't get started on that again. What happened, happened. The Carabineer doesn't reply, but his entire being communicates unbreakable resolve. Oh, old Philip was a big fan of the purple nose candy. The nobility loved purple. So much. A cocaine connoisseur of sorts. <laughs> his egocentricity is borderline legendary. You can't even take the responsibility for yourself. How could you fathom the responsibility weighing on the shoulders of a ruler? That's why the Philippian kings use cocaine for clarity of vision, to aid in their work. Regnum cocaine, Revachol's finest years. 
She's she's even excusing cocaine use. Of course. Clarity of vision. Awareness. Philip III was even brought into this world with the help of cocaine. The court medic administered the dose to his mother when she was in labor. And it is well known that with the help of cocaine, only the purest, of course, he was able to connect with higher realms. He's just making excuses for the king's habits, isn't he? Shouldn't even operate heavy machinery, much less rule countries. From what I've seen of the officers of the RCM... I Oh. But I don't want to get into a debate about drug policies. Why not? I love those. Right. Composure legendary. Threw a bull into the sea. Hmm. I feel like I want hey. to try that. What? Yes, you. Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism again. Yes, you're ready to start building communism again. What? You've built it before. They've built it before. Hasn't really worked out yet. But neither has love. Should we just stop building love, too? That's worked out very well for me. I'm Good. a love winner. We need tender men like you building gargantuan communism. Word on the street is it's going to be 10,000 times larger than any communism previously attempted by human beings. Is that right? Word you keep saying street. things like, down with the bourgeoisie, eat the rich, sodomize the land. Well, hold on, I haven't gone that... ...who have more than 25 real in their pocket. Literally murder all human beings, regardless of their political beliefs. Said some... That kind of stuff. Mildly left-wing things, but none oh, of those... Yes, the mass of ambivalence. Don't deny it. You're about to rip it off and reveal the monstrous seven-eyed lamb of global communism that would devour and masticate mankind. What the fuck? So tell me, do you have any questions before we fire up the big communism builder? Or do we get right down to it? What's this communism is about? It's about failure. Yes, abject failure. Total, irreversible defeat on all fronts. Absolutely vanquished, beaten, curb stomped and pissed on. Until you came along, you will reverse the fortune of the workers of the world. You alone, against every living thing, against every human alive. 800 trillion real in the hands of an impossibly well-organized ruling class. Towering city blocks of bankmen who have the ears of prime ministers. Million-headed armies of nations and the love of your own mother. You against the atom, the charm and the spin. I guess Where that's what the... Um... Failed. Matter failed to bend to human will. Human will fail to get out of bed and that's what like. Laces. You know, you alone, true communist think about. We'll rebuild the dreams of the working class. You are the last communist. So it's, it's a it's a very very cool now dialogue. Now get to work, comrade. Oh yeah, get the firing squads and the animal wagons ready. Why they said anything about that? Now. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few million eggs. Million eggs? Mazovian socioeconomics? What the fuck? The fuck is this? Internalize? Hello? So, okay, the idea. Uh, fever took over the world. They were right until he woke up. Spiritual course from the, the Commodore Red, prostitute and cross muzzle. For him, coming is still a thing. What the fuck is this? Are we we're we're building something up here? Oh, it reduces our visual calculus by two. I don't know if I want that. 
got some stuttering. The connection is good. Like, yeah, the, the thing dropped during the um, middle, but it's fine now. Uh, visual calculus is pretty good at the moment. Okay, let's see if we can You're get the... Um... placement. All you observe is a veteran refusing to let... This is a uniform. Don't you mean Frisell the fan? You do not speak his name. Craven. Although he was a clown. But he was our clown. Ours mm. to ridicule. There's something you missed. You will get to it. Don't worry. Oh, I'm sure we can do it. Come on. We are still waiting for a replacement. All you observe. This is. It's not. Uh, it's not that bad of a chance. I think. Do we have anything that can increase our composure? The snake screens. We already have them equipped. Interfacing. Mm. You're still waiting to LA please. As Rene turns from there we go. partner and back, the medals on his chest rattle and glare. Mm. He keeps his spine straight and his ribcage lifted, displaying them proudly. How many so, medals are there? The larger one is shaped like a cross, while the smaller medal resembles the sun. A small blue star inside an orange sun. It has Valens. the Valiant written below. The setting sun was a decoration used to distinguish seasoned combat veterans in service of King Frizzle the First during the revolution. A crowned head in front of two crossed rifles. The medal hangs from a blue striped triangle. It's the Croc mm. de Bravour. Cross, Cross of Valor. Of Valor. The cross was the highest battlefield decoration in Suzerain's armed forces. Awarded for exceptional bravery in the line of duty, in service of King Frisell the First. For bravery. <laughs> for not for killing babies or raping women or. For doing my duty in the heat of battle, for looking my mortality in the eye. When men like Gaston here hid in the bushes and shat themselves. He said oh. some muddy princeling who foolishly strolled into the front line in his gown of velvet and gold. It was on the first months of the revolution here in Revachel. Unrest was spreading like wildfire. Marauders had taken most of the Koran and were getting really ambitious. King Frisell thought he could end it all in one decisive strike sent his cousin, Drisson, to put an end to the unrest. Alas, the young Drisson was all piss and no vinegar, <laughs> wearing a tunic of purple velvet and cockatoo feathers to battle. Oh. Even his rifle was gold-plated, shown from five clicks away. Can you imagine the asininity? He really despises that Drisson fellow. Purple velvet tunic. Hmm. That isn't exactly camo. To keep the long and bloody story short, Drisson marched us against the partisans in Koron. And when I say march, I mean made us walk into captured enemy territory, single file, like toy soldiers, while he rode in front on his giant red stallion. The rebels mm. were smart. They let us come real close before opening fire. Suffice to say, it was carnage. Must have been a bloodbath. shot in the left shoulder and went down. Just a flesh wound. Just but just as I turned wound. over, the prince fell into the mud next to me. He was missing his lower jaw. Then his horse, driven mad by the noise and smell of gunpowder, stepped on my leg and shattered my knee. Damn. I grabbed my sidearm and shot the beast in the head. Then everything went black. Captain Arno, le fléau des chevaux. The bane of horses. When I came to, it was all over. It was just me and Jolas Tresson, gurgling in the blood-soaked mud right next to me. The Dink had taken numerous flesh wounds and lost a lot of blood. But despite missing his jaw, he seemed hesitant to die. Tougher than he looked, that one. Uh... That's no Dink, that's I a fighter. I grabbed the Dink and started crawling. 
kept going until the 59th cavalry picked us up. Through some miracle, we both survived. And the jeweler's freak convinced Frisell to give me a medal for not leaving him to die in his own blood. Peace and shit! He was the commanding officer and I was on duty. Just doing my job. Shouldn't hand out medals for that. Thirteen months later, I received the son for distinguished service. It's not worth mentioning. You sense he's downplaying it. He did a lot more than his duty. More than anyone's duty. It's in his spine, in his billowing breasts, and untarnished self-worth. Sounds like you're being modest. The old carabineer stands quietly like a statue. His features motionless. What Monseigneur Modesty is not telling you is that he crawled over seven kilometers before the cavalrymen found him and Rizan. Two days later, that was. Oh. And that even while crawling with mangled half-dead prince on his back, he still managed to murder three rebels on his way. Is that pride in his voice? It's deep down, but maybe even unbeknownst to the man himself, it's there. Uh... You gotta play to win. Doesn't seem like a good opinion. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but also be in mind, officer. They don't end this out for anyone with a service record. Oh no, you have to get shot repeatedly, and you need to get your hands bloody too. Really, really bloody. Do not speak of what you know nothing about, Poltroon. Duty is something you will never understand. I did this because he was stuff. a goddamn dandy. Had no business leading men or even being on the battlefield. All he was was related. That's it. Royal blood alone doesn't make army commanders. He was a stupid kid. Only interested in horses, hairstyles, and man-loving. Oh! 782 royal carabineers are dead because of his incompetence. Whoa. Man-loving? Is that even a word? Ooh. It is not. <laughs> bah! There were many such stories in those days. Many such men, too. True Eversholians. Men with backbone. Oh, yes, René, yes. Men were bigger. Girls were prettier, and everyone wore the fascia. Lord, please, bring those days back, if you can. I'm not getting into this with you again. <sighs> Officer, was there anything else? You should try to come up with a heroic story of your own. Impress this old soldier. Yeah, we're not passing that one. Well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe next time. But yeah, in any case, we will be ending it over here. Very, definitely very interesting. We're learning a lot about this world, and um, I do like it. Uh, be getting quite deep into it. In any case, hope you all enjoyed watching. Make sure you have a like, subscribe to see more. We will be ending it over here and the live stream as well. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I will catch you all around. Yes, stop working. Bye-bye.